What does an operational change manager do? Well, in this video, we'll go ahead and find out about the responsibilities of the operational change manager. My name is Josh Fector, and I have over seven years of experience in HR and leading change within organizations. I'm also the founder of HR University. And today we'll walk you through the duties of operational change managers and what they do in a day. Now let's go ahead and dive in. We'll start with the responsibilities. Operational change managers coordinate and oversee all aspects of change processes happening in an organization to ensure that the transformations are carried out without disruptions. And their ultimate goal is to help organizations achieve their objectives by ensuring that they execute changes in a smooth and efficient way. Moreover, they work with senior managers and business stakeholders to develop change management strategies that ensure the right execution of a change program for effective business transformation. And operational change managers also coordinate with other change handlers, quote unquote, to oversee and manage activities regarding the change management plan. Moreover, they create training programs to train the workforce for change implementation and process. And some further duties of this operational change manager position include monitoring and evaluating the change process, defining and measuring project success metrics, risk management, coaching and assessing the performance of teams, documenting the change process, and developing policies for the change management plan. Now let's go ahead and dive deeper into these technical duties to understand the responsibilities of an operational change manager in a more detailed way. So the very first and the top most important duty of an operational change manager is to create and implement change management strategies. And they work to develop such strategies that help organizations deal with business evolutions and transformations in a planned and structured way. And when creating strategies, they conduct in-depth research of critical factors to create high-end effective strategies per se that help minimize the risks and challenges associated with change. And during the strategy development process, they also consult and communicate with the business stakeholders and executives to fulfill senior stakeholders and senior executives' concerns. And communication with stakeholders is mandatory for them to set the right goals for a change management plan. And as the organizational workforce does not always come with welcoming change, they also take into account the possible resistance from employees. And then they work to create strategies and plans in advance to overcome potential employee resistance. Now, next on our plate comes a task of coordinating and communicating the change management activities with employees. Communication and coordination are vital for optimizing business processes. Hence, operational change managers coordinate and spread all ongoing change management activities within an organization. And they ensure that all the team members involved in the change management process are on the same page and agree with each other. Furthermore, they also coordinate with stakeholders, employees, and other relevant parties to ensure that everyone is aware of the changes, their time of implementation, and the possible challenges and hurdles. And that way they know how they need to work with the situations and challenges when the time comes. And operational change managers develop communication plans to regularly notify employees about the changes. And these communication and coordination plans then help them to reduce confusion and the anxiety employees will develop in trying to adjust and settle with the changes. Another important duty of operational change managers is to develop employee training programs. So it's important to know that people often tend to resist change initiatives because they're not comfortable with the change in their routine and find it hard to step out of their comfort zone and regular work frame. In this way, they face issues adjusting to the new work processes. And therefore here, operational change managers help employees adjust to the changes through effective training programs. And with these programs, they educate employees about the business evolution and help them understand how these changes will positively impact their work and for their own good as well. To create effective training programs, they must understand employee needs, their level of expertise, and their learning preferences. And the training programs they develop also help employees learn new skills required for business continuation in the changing environment. And change management is not a standalone process. It requires integration with other business processes to be effective. And for this purpose, operational change managers integrate all change management activities with other inline business processes. And they work with project managers and other relevant management teams to align change management activities with the project schedule. And this is mandatory to avoid delays and disruptions in the change project and other operations. Moreover, operational change managers also integrate both change management and project management for effective and non-delayed business continuity while the change project implementation continues. And once change managers implement the transformation, they then monitor and evaluate its progress. They work to identify issues and problems which they must address. 
and an operational change manager is responsible for monitoring and assessing the changes to ensure that they achieve the desired goals and effects. And to monitor the change, well, they track change metrics to gauge how well a change initiative performs. And after that, they conduct surveys and interviews to get feedback from employees and key stakeholders to know their thoughts, ideas, and concerns. And based on the results of the surveys and performance evaluation, operational change managers make recommendations and suggest changes to improve the change management plan. And operational change managers also deal with change initiative success metrics. Metrics are an essential constituent of any business process as these are the indicators of success or failure. And operational change managers identify and measure success metrics to ensure effective implementation of the change process. And through these metrics, they track the progress of the changes and identify any areas that need improvement. And after identifying the metrics, will they work to develop a plan to correctly measure them? And this plan includes how operational management teams will interact with other team professionals to collect the data, how often will they collect it, and how they will analyze the stats and metrics. And an operational change manager works to understand data and how they can use it to improve the change process. And change managers face obstacles on their way to ensuring the successful implementation of a change process. There are always risks associated with change initiatives, and it is the responsibility of the operational change managers to identify and assess those risks. And change managers must also understand the organization's risk tolerance. It helps them identify the acceptable level of risk and then go ahead and make decisions accordingly. And operational change managers develop risk management plans to mitigate the impact of these risks. And to create such a plan, they research risk mitigation tactics and techniques. They also reduce the impact of risks with these tactics and make the organizational change process more smooth and more successful. Next, operational change managers coach and mentor teams. As project teams face operational changes while working on a project, dealing with these changes becomes challenging for them and they often become resistant to change as it disrupts their work. A change manager overcomes this resistance and helps teams embrace the evolution here. And they do so by communicating the benefits of changes and assisting the teams in understanding how the evolution will improve their work. And operational change managers coach project teams so they continue working at their pace in the evolving workplace. And coaching plays a key role in helping the workforce to understand the changes, develop new skills, and adapt to the new environment. Moreover, operational change managers help teams identify the resources that they need to implement the changes successfully. And coaching a project team is not the only task. Change managers also assess their performance. They work to identify areas where the team is struggling and needs further support. And operational change managers gauge the team's progress and see if they make the desired impact and target goals or not. And identifying the pitfalls in an operational change process is difficult without performance appraisal. Hence, operational change managers use various methods to assess the work and identify pitfalls. And a few methods that they use include interviews, surveys, focus groups, and data analysis. Then they use data from these assessment methods to improve the overall change process. And change managers document the changes as documentation is an integral part of any change process. It helps them track the progress of the changes to ensure that all transformation initiatives go according to plan. And along with their other duties, they also keep a record of all the legal documents related to the transformation, implementation, and change process. It includes project plans, risk management plans, documents related to training and coaching, as well as other important corresponding documents. Now, without documentation, it becomes difficult for change managers to track the workflow of a change process. Documentation also helps identify any issues that they must address. And operational change managers use this tool to evaluate the success of a change process. Because without documentation, well, you don't have anything to rely on. And policies are an essential part of a change management plan. They carry out the change process in a controlled and consistent manner. And developing strong policies is one of the crucial responsibilities of this position. And an operational change manager works to develop policies that cover all aspects of the change process. They review and update the policies regularly as well. Then they work on aligning these policies with organizational goals to ensure successful implementation of change. And there we have it. That's all you need to know about the operational change management responsibilities. And if you feel like you have a better understanding of the operational change manager role, make sure to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel for more lessons and videos on how to become a great management professional.
And again, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University, and I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other videos and lessons as well. Cheers.